even though I had faith, I still was afraid sometimes. Um, actually, we were on vacation March of 2013, and I got sick all the way down the uh, turnpike, <laughs> down 77. We were going to Holden Beach in North Carolina. And I thought, oh, I just had too much sugar, too many Girl Scout cookies <laughs> or something, I don't know. And then over the week, I started turning yellow. I knew that there was probably cancer with this one, and I was a little confused because I thought I ate well. You know, like I said, I didn't drink, I didn't smoke, and a lot of those things are attributed to pancreatic cancer. So I was like, how can this happen? I've already had cancer once. I don't understand why I would have it again. And I really struggled this time because, maybe because I had been through it once before. And they tell you every time you're on the table that you could die. So you really look death face to face. I, my home is heaven, I know that. So I'm ready to go home but I wanted to stay here too. I've got three grown children now, and um, adult children and a grandson. In 98, there was no box cast, so I would just have to hear what the sermon was from, you know, from my husband when he came home or my kids when they came over. But then with the pancreatic cancer in 13, I was actually able to watch the church service live through BoxCast, it was wonderful. When I was in the hospital in South Carolina, Jim would just bring the laptop in and we would watch in the hospital. <laughs> they first show the people coming into church, you know, so walking in, they have a few minutes, well, it's before church starts where you see everybody walking in and we're like, oh, there's so-and-so and there's so-and-so. And <laughs> What's amazing when you're recovering is hearing your church family pray for you. I mean, that just brings tears to your eyes. So with ovarian ca cancer, I was stage 1C, which was great. Uh, with the pancreatic cancer, they staged me at 4A. You're planning your funeral at 4A. So they found cancer in two lymph nodes with the, the uh, pancreatic cancer. But by the time I went to my treatment six months later, they had downgraded it to B. To B. So I said, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> I never know when it'll strike me, but um, sometimes even doing dishes, it's like, Lord, thank you that I'm still here to be able to do dishes or water the flowers or pick up toys or whatever. Sometimes we get busy in our lives and I think in our world today there are so many things to do and we're just busy 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 but when you have to stop and deal with life and death it it gives you a different worldview